Hi, this time we will have a look at this, the menu which can be found in tools, options and this menu essentially gives you the possibility to change some of the global parameters of MeshLab and it gives you the possibility to personalize a bit the appearance of MeshLab uh, in order to fit it to your use or taste and so the first group of uh, uh, parameters, global parameters that you can change is related to appearance and the most easy to handle are uh, the first ones which are related essentially to the background color so you can change the color uh, which define the gradient of the background so if you want to change the top color it's quite easy you can choose another one if you click apply you will have uh, a new appearance for the background so that you can choose the one which is best for you or maybe which is best for the three model or the, the scene that you are uh, visualizing um, uh, if you click reset at any time you will get back to the original default color of MeshLab. But if you want to make the change of the color that you chose a uh, permanent one, if you click Save, uh, the next time that you will uh, open MeshLab, we will get back the, again this, uh, this color, the, the, the color that you chose to change. At any time, again, you can click the Reset and uh, be back to the original values. You have to click Save to make the Reset permanent. Other things that you can do, for example, is the, 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 the basic color of the model under the diffuse lighting so the basic color is a kind of gray one but you can change, change it in order to have a different, different appearance of the objects and you can also um, change the light specular and light ambient color you can change also the, the color of the area of this area where you can get some information and uh, you can also play with the, uh, the the color of the fancy light and the uh, double side light uh, this, there are other parameters like this one I'm not going into detail in this but if you are a bit familiar with the rendering algorithms uh, you can also try to play with them in order to improve the appearance to your respect to your needs the second part of the groups the group of global parameters is related to decoration so we already saw some of the decorations in MeshLab and some of them change their appearance uh, with respect to, to, to some parameters and these are defaults of the parameters and so if you usually work with some kind of data uh, that are a bit peculiar uh, you can change the default of the parameters so that in most of the cases while you uh, activate the decoration, decoration you will have the, the, the visual effect that you want um, one quite simple example could be uh, the normal length. The normal length essentially, if you activate, for example, the, the visualization of the uh, vertex normals, this will be set at 0 0.05, uh, in this case, millimeters, so the unit of measure of the, of the object. Um, if you, for example, you work with data which have been uh, reconstructed from images, uh, you know that uh, they are usually visualized with at an arbitrary scale which is uh, essentially most of the time much much smaller than uh, the, the the real size of the object uh, so uh, if when you activate the visualization of the normals so you get very big ver uh, very big uh, um, sides of the uh, normals uh, so if you usually work with data coming from images you can try to set this value is much much smaller than this one, so that the, you will be able to visualize the vertex normal in much much more uh, much better way. Uh, so, if you start uh, using some of the decorations uh, in most of your uh, um, activities, um, one thing that you can do is to set the the global parameters as default as the best for you, so that uh, you don't need uh, at any any time to open the layer dialog and change the parameters accordingly. So, um, when you will become a kind of experienced uh, user of MeshLab, but also changing these global parameters will give you the possibility to personalize MeshLab. That's it. Thank you.